In this video, we'll review the different ferrule options CTR Electronics has to offer, how to use these ferrules, and what to look for when making a ferrule selection. We offer three different ferrule sizes, orange for 20 gauge, white for 18 gauge, and red for 16 gauge. All of the ferrules we sell are genuine Weidmuller ferrules. This is what we recommend for use with our products that use Weidmuller connectors. The wire must be stripped back to the proper length before insertion into the ferrule. We recommend a strip length of 3 eighths of an inch or 0.375. This translates to about 9.5 millimeters. Okay, so now that we have our wire stripped back, we want to make sure that our strip length is correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold this up next to the ferrule. And as you can see, when we're flush with the ferrule, we got a little bit of extra wire here. That's okay, because the shroud around this connector, around this ferrule, is going to cover up that extra wire, and it's also going to engage the insulation. And another point I want to make is some different wire manufacturers have different tolerances on their insulation thickness. So, for example, this wire will not go all the way into the ferrule. It kind of compresses in there and, and creates a little bit of a seal around the insulation, which is good. Um, but you may end up with a wire strip, a strip link that's a little too short because of that. Just go ahead and strip back the difference so that you're flush with the front of this ferrule and everything will be good. All right, now that we're in place, we're going to crimp this guy using our four-sided crimper. He just inserts into the crimper and then you give it a good squeeze. And that's it. A little pull test. We're going to insert it into, let's say, one of the PCM, or I'm sorry, VRM outputs. We're going to give it a good tug. We want to make sure that that wire does not come out. That is really important that that wire does not come out. Yep, looks good to me. I think we're all set. We get questions once in a while about the 16 gauge uh, rating on the Weidmuller connectors. Some teams and some customers seem to struggle with the uh, 16 gauge wire inserting into the, uh, the Weidmuller connectors on our products. And they can be difficult, it just depends on the gauge of wire you're using or the brand of wire you're using, not the gauge. Um, not all 16 gauge wires are created equally. This is some MTW that we use here. This is 16 gauge MTW. It's a very flexible wire. I, I recommend it for robotic applications because of that. And it's fairly inexpensive. So here we have one of our 16 gauge ferrules that I'm going to crimp on here and show you a little trick that I learned to help it help the ferrule insert into the Weidmuller connector a little easier um, than normal. So we're going to do the same thing we did in the previous uh, demo. We're going to make sure the strip length is right, which I already did. Now it sticks out a little bit past here, so we're going to go ahead and trim that flush. We don't want that those strands sticking out too far. So now that we've trimmed that, I'm going to go ahead and give it a good crimp. Same way we did with our other uh, 18 gauge ferrule. Now the only difference is we're going to rotate this guy 90 degrees and we're going to crimp it again using the same crimper. Now what that does is it, it, it shrinks the connector just a little bit, gives it a little extra crimp, a little extra compression so that it fits into this connector much easier. You give a little bit of extra force, you got to kind of wiggle it in, but once it's in, it's, it's in. And if it's too big, if the diameter of this ferrule is too large, what will happen is when you, it may insert okay, but when you go to pull it out, it'll pull right out because this button will stay depressed. And that's not good. So we want to make sure it goes in cleanly, but we also want to make sure it doesn't pull out. So you can get 16 gauge wire into the VRM PCM. You just got to use the right crimping technique. That's all for today and thank you for watching.